What's going on YouTube? It's been a while. I know it's uh, been quite some time for me to do a YouTube channel. I mean, not YouTube channel, uh, a YouTube uh, videos. Um, I have a lot going on. Uh, you know, uh, it's just a lot. A lot going on. You know, my mom and family and business and whew, it's no joke. But sorry for the delay. Um, but I have some time. I went to a stream today, and um, I want to recommend uh, Mr. Dixon Enterprise. He had. He doesn't want me to show his work, and he doesn't want to go big in public. And I respect his choices and everything, but um, you know, he took my my 1911 apart on my Kimber, and polished it. The bull barrel. The hammer, the fire pin, inside for your uh, magazine, re magazine release and all that. Trigger job, man, the retention, I mean, it's like, man, it's, I, since I got it back, I haven't shot it. Um, I was planning to do a review and, and recommend uh, Mr. John Dixon because uh, about his work, about polishing in the internals of your 1911. And when he does it, it just, work as just good as Wilson or Nighthawk any high dollar man it just works his polish works and never jams I throw every single bullet and never jammed on me and I got like a little over 200 rounds without even putting oil on it I mean like I think like just runs and it shoots so smooth but he does not want me to recommend it to anyone and he's a 1911 guru that he just loved 1911 he's, he's been around when Wilson before he even developed his business you know he was uh, uh he shoots competition he he retired you know now he's he wants to he's, he, I found out this today that he wants to retire this year so he doesn't want to polish guns anymore um so that's kind of sad so um but he doesn't want me to refer to anybody which I respect that you know and I would like to do a video of that but I asked him about it when I did my polish gun and he told me no, so I respect his choices. Anyways, um, I had time today, and I shot my Kimber 1911, fully polished, the barrel hood's polished, okay, if you guys can see it, okay, the hammer is polished, it's supposed to be black, but he polished it, the speed ramp, not the, uh, um, the ramp for the bully feet, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's been polished, okay, if you guys can see it, um, the bull barrel completely polished okay before when I bought this gun only this part was polished and back here in the back always the back it was some kind of uh, a little like a ceramic kind of material kind of deal it wasn't smooth as the tip of the barrel he took the whole barrel and polished the whole thing it's I shot this gun he did a trigger job as a it's less it's about a two pound pull man this thing shoots butter I was on point my group targets on my bullet shots was this big I mean, man, I loved it. I love for, for the work he does. But uh, I'm sorry, I cannot recommend it, um, the polished work uh, to him. That way he can have more customers and um, people that have 1911 that can get the job done for cheap. And he only charged me 120 bucks to do all this, okay? It's cheap for polishing your barrel, your ramp, uh, feed next to your barrel, uh, trigger job, your hammer, your firing pin, um, magazine release to make it better, man, it's phenomenal. I mean, there's no way I can describe it. It's as good as it's a Kimber. I mean, you could really pick any 1911, give it to him polished, and it'll work, and it shoot as good as Wilson Combat or shoot as good as a Nighthawk, and it works. It just shoots and it works. Anyways, um, like I said, I, I won't recommend, um, I won't, you know, tell or recommend his phone number or his business name, and he's done. He's, whoever does his posh work this year, that's it, and he doesn't want, like, the whole world to know, to send him guns to do all his posh work on his 1911s, he doesn't want that. And he did open a store, he told me about it, he opened a store quite some time, uh, a few years back, close it he said it was too much work for him and he's getting old you know he's in his late 60s and he's old he's the one doing it more 
real nice guy. Mr. John is a real nice guy. Um, he doesn't he doesn't uh, do uh, before he had a shop. He was doing it, and then he don't want to do it no more. Now he does it at home, uh, kind of like a side job, and he does maybe two or three pistols in a week. You know, he just take his time. He's old, you know, and he does a fantastic job polishing my Kimber. I mean. I love it, you know. I I would recommend it, but he doesn't want any more business. That's it, you know. So whoever does it this year, I'm, you know, um, I would I wanted to, exp you know, build home customers, put more uh, his reviews and his job out there on YouTube, but he doesn't want me to do it. So I respect that. Anyways, getting down to it, um, this video here um, is about Shooter Loop. I see a lot of places. Oh, not a lot of places. I see a lot of uh, uh, YouTube videos about shoe loop. Okay, um, I throw it box. So, I don't know. so I bought um, one bottle of this. I have my own oil. I'm using Wolves of Combat oil and shoe loop. So I literally put a little over 200 rounds on my Kimber. So a total of maybe a little over a thousand shots, and came with this. Okay, and a sticker. Okay, um, that was. The solvent, the cleaning stuff, and they got the loop. Okay, I didn't really need the loop. I just bought these. Okay, so I bought three of these, but I don't know how. I, and everybody loves it. Everybody works great. So this is about the sure loop. See how well and how much gunk will get off my pistol. Okay, so let's get to it and dive down close. And I need to find a bigger box or something to hold this camera up higher so you can dive down towards so you can see what I'm working with down here. As that's why I'm wearing gloves. So let's get to it. Um, trying to keep my um details about mr daniel uh john dixon enterprise about punching gun to a minimum okay so but he did a best job let's go ahead and dive up close and get to it <sighs> lined up whoa that's hard Okay, I'm trying to take this slide release off and it's it's on there. It is on there. Hey Mr. John. Jesus. I took this down many times before, never had a problem. Okay, I'm gonna have to, my hands are slippery. <sighs> Try to do this video as fast as I can, guys. Sorry for the delay. I'm trying to get this thing out. If it let me. Come on. Jesus, my hands are just sliding everywhere. <laughs> uh. Come on, man. Pop out. Dang, it's really in there, dude. I can't seem to slide the sucker out. Dude. Get your ass out already. There it goes. I feel a little budging. Come on. I'm over there. Okay, so I finally got this stupid damn thing off. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, it shouldn't be that hard, but 
my hair was kind of greased up from away from cleaning my brother's guns. I'm like, eh. Okay, so I got the pin in. I pull this thing out. Slide forward. Okay. Okay. Done. Now let's hold the sucker down and see how this works. Okay, true loop. So it's a brand new bottle. And they provide you these, which is really nice. And let's see how much gunk we get off this damn thing. I shot about me about 200 rounds, 220 off around there. So let's get to it. Is it on lock or not? Oh yeah. Oh, they do have a lock in this thing. It's like a little nice little feature here. If you can see it. There's a little tab right here that blocks it from pushing in. If you guys can see it. But if I turn the tab, see it? Where my thumb is at? On my left, on my left hand right here. The thumb right, like, leave it right there. Then I will to squeeze it. Okay. Squeeze all the sucker in there. See how much gunk we get. See how good this stuff works. Okay. Now, this part here. All right, let's sit for a little bit. Let's see how much gunk we got, okay? So, got a nice green microfiber towel. I'm gonna wash this sucker after I'm done. On both sides, okay? Let's see how much gunk we get off this. This second towel here is for secondary, just in case. If it gets too dirty, then we can get to it. I bust up my snake. My 45 caliber ACP snake. Okay, put that to the side. All right, let's start wiping it down. Shit like it's doing its job. And I see a couple of spots dirty. Let's get to it. So far, it looks like it's doing its job. Speed. The ramp has been polished and look like the gunk is coming up pretty well. And I'm buying, I bought this, I bought this with my own money, okay? No one sponsored me, no one sent me anything, I bought it with my own money. So, wow, simple, it's not that hard to rub off. And I thought it would be, like I ever do every other time. Okay, that's one down. The um, guide rod. Okay. Now, this right here. The barrel hood. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Look like it's doing its job. So far, so good. Easy to come off. The gunk's coming off pretty well. And it just came from the range, so. Wow. Cleans up nicely. Oh, I don't remember scoring this damn thing yet. Okay. Now the slide. Inside.
I'm really picky with my stuff, so I like to try to get all the damn fucking guts and shit. Okay, you be the judge of it. Look at the inside. Okay. You be the judge of it. Okay. And look at the barrel. One of the barrel, the slide. Okay. The barrel. This part here, from here to here, was a different, it was still stuck on the barrel, but it was like a hard, uh, rough finish, like a texture. And he removed all that, he polished all the sucker out. He just did the whole entire barrel. Did everything okay so far nice and clean did a very really fantastic job okay nice barrel polished and clean you already seen the slide you already seen that okay so result and I was shooting um, Winchester's Winchester um, full metal combat a full, full metal jacket okay so this is the dirt we got off from that not bad and I maybe use like maybe what 10 10 squirts spray bottle okay so and also I was telling you about see he polished this side here he polished this and he polished the hammer took the fire I uh, took the fire pin out and redid that the the feed ramp it's been polished man John did a very fantastic job man I think it works butter he also did the readout you did the housing in the back the spring housing and he changed out this uh, thumb safety for me as well my other one when I first got it and like a little it wasn't dinged it was new it was new but for some reason it made a stain like the the, the black stain the the material um, to make it one color was was messed up so I bought a new one um, off of online I forgot who I bought it from and I told him to swap that out I still have the other one in the box but it looks a lot better you know without that being all fucked up but looks good okay and it's clean I mean what can I say it's clean it wasn't very hard to rub off okay so yeah I like it you know, for for trying it out, paying for them, trying it out, I actually like the product. Shoes Lube, you know, you guys try it out for yourself. It's not that too expensive, and it works. You know, it works, and I don't I don't have to wipe down so much. It's so hard, and you know. Oh, I forgot to do this one. Okay, see this. Yeah, came out clean. Came out clean. Not bad. I rough so much so hard to get them off, all the gunk off. Not bad, guys. Not bad. So for lube, I use this for my nine. This is a little. I have a little more grease to it. So this is what I use for my 1911. Okay, the one of stuff I bought, and I like it so far. I like it. Um, works good and it's um what do you call it um does its job lose very well let me bore the snake on the barrel quick to make sure all that is inside because i did spray inside i did spray inside this barrel and see how much gunk we get out Again. Okay. 
Okay. And that barrel is clean. Oh, oh yeah, it's just don't light down here, but you can't see that barrel, but it's clean. Not bad. Clean all the gook inside that barrel. Not bad. Shit. Wow. Okay. Let's lube it up and put it together. I'm gonna use this. Shouldn't take too damn long to put it together. <laughs> um the rail. What I like to do is lube the rail. Streamline. On the side. Here. Pocket set. There. And there. And where the fire pin sticks out at. Okay. Here. Put the barrel. Okay. Whoops. Okay. That's done. Stay right there. Don't move. There you go. Don't move. Right there. Put a little bit of oil on that little ring. Stay right there. Now, the slide. Real thin. Sorry, I put some on the rail already. Put some here. Here. Definitely here. And then a couple of drops here. Here. And we're good. Slide it together. There's some more I have to do. Make sure that little ring here, this ring here stays the way it is. Make sure it doesn't move. Come on, get your ass in the damn slide. There we go. Okay, I see the slot. Little bit here. Slide a hole. Cool. Slide back. Line it up. I don't want to do idiot scratch. Well, it has a couple idiot scratch on there already, but I don't want to make it more worse than the way it is. Come on, get your bitch ass in there. I don't want to do another idiot scratch. Get your bitches in there. Ah, great. Come on, dude. Okay, so I finally got the thing in. Ah, man, I was trying to not do an idiot scratch if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, this is pretty much done. Just add a little more grease on the hood and the barrel, and we're set. I have to take my gloves off too. So we're gonna do something here. Okay. Get it all around. All around the hood. to itself a little bit. Okay. Okay. And 
from the hood. it to see any excess oil will come out I'll just wipe it down the oil will leak back here whoops I actually touched the hood by accident Here. Okay. And a little bit of excess oil on the front. Wipe that off. Make sure it's clean. So see how nice the bull barrel looks. Nice. Okay. So it's clean. Okay, so we're pretty much set here. So let's go to FaceTime and uh, give you my thoughts about shoe loop. Catch you in a bit. All right, guys. So what do I think about the shoe loop? Um, cleans fast. Um, so there my gun was about two ten, two twenty. Her shots. Get, uh, it, when you spray it on, give it a you know five, ten, fifteen, twenty seconds, or even thirty seconds. Let it soak in. Let it start working on itself. Um, I like it. Um, I didn't have the rough so not too hard, and I was able to you know get all the gunk, all the you know gunpowder and all the debris and everything out of it. It works as advertised. Um, I like it. Would I continue to use it? Most definitely. Would I buy another bottle? Yeah, I would. It wasn't all that expensive. Man, I bought this, um, man, I think I bought it beginning of this year, but I didn't have time to do videos and catch up and business and family and a lot of things going on. So I was like, man, I, I didn't have a chance to. Um, shout out to Cobb. Cobb. Colton for signing that for me uh, I'm gonna keep it though but um yeah it's a nice thank you card um, saying hello shooter thank you for your order um, we know you will enjoy using our products we strive to give you the best American made gun cleaning products in the industry we welcome you to grow welcome you to our growing movement please share and tag us in pictures videos so we can give you a shout out if you have any questions, please feel free to reach us out. Uh, reach out to us. Thanks again, Colton. And there goes her Instagram and whatever whatnot. Okay. Um, good product. Um, I haven't tried that on my AR yet. Um, but yeah, I like the. I like how it's fast process. Give it a you know like I said, give it about five, ten, twenty, thirty seconds to let the um, the the liquid start acting up and getting all the you know all the gunk and gunpowder lifted up and just wipe away um yeah i'll recommend it to my friends you know so far it's clean um our guns ready to shoot again you know um i'm happy with the product um but yeah that's my review um man, i forgot how much i paid for it man, it was like I, I, I'm not gonna, you know, tell you the wrong price. It's best to just Google it, just go to Shooter Loop, just Google it, it'll come out the price. It probably have been price been changed right now. It could be higher, it could be lower, I don't know. Um, so I can't tell you the actual price, but I think I bought it for like, I bought three bottles for one time purchase, a one time checkout, three bottles. It was so good, I was like, eh, why buy one bottle and just sit me, you know, kind of sit me for quite some time. So I was like, eh, why not? And it give you a better day if you buy more than one. It's so like, and it give me one hell of a day when I bought three. It's like, eh, why not? So, you know, who doesn't like 
you know, shoe loop um, solid. This is stage one, okay? Uh, that's stage two, you know, that have this and it comes with a small ball for your um, oil. But I use um, Ultima loop for most of combat, especially for 1911. Okay, it's, it's not just a lube, it's grease. It's a little mixture of grease in it. This one here is more lubed. Uh, another uh, Ultima lube. This is light oil. This is universal. This is good for ARs and 1911s. This is light oil. It's no grease in it, but it's still lube. It's good for 9mm. It's striker fire pistols. This is what I use it for Glocks and HK VP9s and stuff like that. But stage one, it comes with this. And you want stage two, it come, you know, um, a kit, it come with a little small bottle for your replacement lube. If you have your own favorite lube already, then I wouldn't buy worry about buying the oil, just buy the solvent. Uh, solvent works great and military grade, um, eco-friendly, um, works good. I like it. I'll continue using it. Um, maybe I do an update video on it as well. But so far, my gun is clean. Loop, ready to go. Most definitely ready to go. Um, pros, I start seeing the um, the, the, the all the gunpowder coming off the uh, the slide, the rail, and all that. I saw you know I see it start doing that. You can see it starting to kind of lift up just a little bit uh, if you pay attention real close detail to it. Um, Uh, cons, maybe the price, if it goes up, I'm not too sure. Like I said, Google it. Well, I would definitely buy another one if I only have one bottle. And especially when you have an AR, you're gonna end up using a lot and spray a lot. I mean, it's a good size bottle. It is it is skinny and it's tall, but you know, if it would be a little pedal really nice to hold more, you know what I'm saying? So other than that, um, yeah, that's my thoughts, my honest opinion. Product works well. It works very, very well. And shout out to Shooter's Loop for doing a good job. Um, I had to try a frog loop and stuff like that. Not bad, you know, an extra step. Well, actually, a couple more steps to, you know, some marinade and and let it, you know, you gotta heat up your gun and open the port in the metal and then put frog loop over it and then as it cools down, the pore of the metal closes it and it saves the solvent from a floor or from it. So it was a process and I was like, yeah, I don't want to do all of that. So I got away from frog loop. They're a good lube, it just, it works, you know? And when you shoot it and it gets hot, the oil will start coming out, uh, coming out from pores of the metal and it starts greasing up the gun more and more. It'll just keep shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. That's one good thing about frog loop, they do like that, but I don't use it anymore, but it's a good product. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely we'll shut this out and uh, you know, I haven't bought all my gift to my nephew one and he shoots too, he has his own Glock and stuff like that. So yeah, so uh, cons, I don't see any cons other than maybe the price change. Just just go, go ahead and see if the price went up and down. I think I bought for like, uh, I think it was like 60 bucks, 60, 70 bucks for three bottles and three heads for your spray. So. Um, I don't remember. I bought it again this year. I just don't remember. You know, a lot of things going on. I could be wrong, but the product works good. If you uh, just buy one bottle, try it out, see how you like it. It should lift up really easy. You don't have to scrub so hard. It just falls right off and just soaks into your towel. And just take this and just throw it in a washer dryer. Or if you guys like to just throw it in the trash, I like to wash and dry, and it just I can reuse my towels again and do it all over again. It saves me money in the long run. So anyhow, um, thank you for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumb like and, and throw me a comment, you know, see what you guys think or have you guys ever used this product before? What do you think of it? Give me your opinion, you know. Um, so far I like it and uh, I'll give you my opinion. Um, hopefully in the future I have more products to do uh, to give you guys a review. I do have one review that I wanna do but I do not really wanna share it to the world to know what I have, but I'll give you a quick, 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 quick peek. Ready? That's it. That's that's, that's all you're gonna get. I'm not. Uh, I don't wanna. You know, the whole world know that. You know, it was a quick one peek, a few couple, a few couple seconds uh, to the 
probably didn't even know you just lay it back or whatever. But anyhow, um, yeah, I recommend it to um, guys. Try it out. Buy one bottle. Try it out. If you don't like it, you know, we'll buy it again. Just use it until it's done and throw it away. If you like it, like probably you can buy more. Okay. So that's my honest opinion, and yeah, it's a good product and works very, very well. So um, I'll keep using it until right now, and in the future, I'll probably buy some more, you know, and uh, unless I find another product that does a better job than that, what I'm gonna try, but if this works this good, I'm gonna just, you know, it'll last me a while because I bought three bottles. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs like again, and follow me on, on Facebook and Instagram. I have it on my, um, uh, my page on my YouTube channel, so. Uh, give me a like and uh, I'm sorry for all the delays and I didn't have a chance to throw more videos on here, but uh, I'm trying to do the best I can uh, Too much things going on. Okay, till next time. Peace out